Hi and welcome back to SnowRunner on Hard Mode episode 19. I am back. So sorry for the delay. Right, let's move this P16 into the garage and then let's let me explain to you what's going on. Right, we are going to do super order. Um, this is going to be massive video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Um, right, first of all, humbly apologise for the delay again. I have been extremely busy because there is some good news I need to tell you all. And uh, I am very happy, very, very, very happy. But I'm going to tell you a bit later because I want you to watch my video. <laughs> so um, stay tuned, continue watching, you'll find out why there's good news and there should be a lot more SnowRunner to come. Right, so let's get ourselves prepared. Right, Fleet Star with a four cargo slot and oh, just to let you know, warehouse right at the bottom here, metal beams, concrete blocks, wooden planks. Because the reason why I'm telling you that is because when I jump into the White Western Star, there's wooden planks here. So I'm not going to travel all the way there to get wooden planks. Anyway, so plonk it on. Right, so let's have a look at the map. And let's try and do the first part. So as you can see, fuel, fuel station. Um, and that's just there, so I'm just going to go slowly so for you. Consumables, we know where that is, that's the farm here. Service spare parts is right over here, right next to the base. And wooden planks I've just shown you, and you know where that is. And that's all going to this base in the top left. So, right, let's plan our route. So we can go all the way up around here, as you know. The safest way is all the way down here, and then all the way up here. But you know I don't do safe ways anymore. I do shortcuts and fun ways and dangerous routes. And that's why you guys like watching me because I go mad. So, yep, yeah, let's go the most easiest route and the most... No, not easiest route, but the quickest route and the dangerous route. So, there we go. <laughs> right, service spare parts. Let's plonk that on. Boom. So that's on. Pack it. And then let's get the next cargo slot. What will be the fuel? So shoot to the fuel station and here we are at the fuel station get some fuel and then move up a bit and then let's plonk on a fuel cargo slot so let's put that on and let's grab another one and there's a reason why i'm doing that because in smithfield dam you can get absolutely every single item as i'm putting now look every single item from Smithfield Dam. I mean everything. Now obviously we haven't got enough cargo slots. But a bit of homework I've been doing. I've worked out the best way to do super order. So sit back. Watch. Take it all in. And <laughs> yeah you do the same. And make this super order actually not too bad to do. Right I'm just going to leave the White Western Star here. Just for a moment right near the farm. I'm going to jump into the Fleet Star. To go and grab some fuel and I'm going to fill up the not only the truck but the tanker as well and this is essential for what we're going to be doing because you remember we're going to go over four different maps well to be honest actually the way I do it I actually go back on myself so I actually do five maps and then actually go all the way back to Smithfield Dam so yeah it's a lot of traveling we've got to do so right I'm parking it just there and I just want to show you the order, just to show you, just look, see as you look at them, basically I've already shown you where all most of these, like the concrete blocks was where the, where the wooden planks was and whatnot. This stage three will be doing actually last, not third, in a different vehicle and vehicle spare parts is the same as where service spare parts were. And metal beams is where the wooden planks was and the concrete slabs is in the middle warehouse right near the dam but we're not going to get the metal beams we get that later it's the only thing we're not going to get on this map so as you can see i am moving over the fuel because i need to make room for two consumables onto the white western star even though we need one we need another one later so that's the plan right so let's go and get some more cargo so let's take the fleet star to go and grab some more 
Right, so here I am at the middle warehouse, and yeah, uh, automatic load because I went by default I manually load, but I haven't got a crane ever. <laughs> um, but it's 150 game money, it's fine. So, anyway, so I'll go all the way up to the warehouse at the top left of the map, where obviously I showed you where the wooden planks are. I've travelled really, really far from this, and um, this is right near Drummer Island. And we're gonna, oh, and again, you can get the metal beams from here, but we're not gonna take that. We're gonna take the concrete blocks instead. So we bung that on, and then we're fully loaded with our Fleet Star. Just a note as well, if you didn't have the wooden planks like I did at the base, you would have to come to that uh, warehouse to pick up the wooden planks first, okay? Um, yeah, because you need it for the first mission. So let's replan that route. As you know, I'm going the fun way, and then I might as well follow it down the easy way. But, you know me, let's go shortcuts and cut across. That should be interesting. And, uh, yeah, up the hill and meet with the Fleet Star. So, yeah, let's crack on. Right, like I said, uh, two consumables, please. So here we just grab on one, and magically two <laughs> are there. Look, plonk it on top. I think I've shown you this before. As long as it doesn't fall off, yeah, as long as it don't fall off, it will sort itself out. Plonk, done, dusted, move on. Let's get this first stage complete, shall we? Right, here we go. Right, as you can see, I am here on the map, and you know what this is. If you don't, then you haven't really played SnowRunner really properly. Uh, this is the worst pit on uh, Smithfield Dam. It really is. You lose your cargo all the time here, and I tried it. As you see, look, I am in low minus to do this. I'm just taking my time, taking my time, and then just taking it wide. You know what? I'm going to go. Let's just use my trick. Let's just use my trick and use it as a... So you can either do it one side and have it as a counterbalance or as I'm just doing, just using it as a stabiliser. And you know what? A bit of force, look. A bit of force and it goes through the trees, bouncing off the trees, but it's my stabiliser. And look at that. It works. It works. I don't care. It gets the job done. You know, Crane is brilliant the snow runner not just to put on cargo to save money but as a stabilizer a counterbalance so much useful having a crane truck with a crane absolutely a must people you know me with my crane i use it's a multi multi-purpose thing it really is it is amazing you have to do that in snow runner and here we are first stage complete Right, that's part one sorted. Now let's focus on part two, shall we? You'll see in this video, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a bit unstable. Right, I'm gonna have to use my technique. Oh, if I zoom in quickly, I've done the anchors as well by pressing, obviously I'm on the Xbox uh, One controller. You press the left thumbstick in because obviously where the crane comes out, it could have toppled you over, especially if you're on a thing. So just there's a little bit of a tip there. If you're on a hill already, try and do the anchors as well because that'll give you a bit of stability as well. Okay, just a tip there. But um, yeah, you'll see in my videos, um, or especially in this one, I do a lot of interior views. And oh no, don't tell me I'm getting get stuck again. Come on, White Western Star, don't let me down. Maybe I'll go far to the left, that might be better. Yes, it worked. Well done, White Western Star. Love ya. Oh look, it's wheelie bins. Let's knock it over. <laughs> oh, 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 what the... Oh my gosh. Um, sorry, did my white western star just eat... Oh my gosh, it ate the bin. 
My white waist is start at the bin. No way. Oh my gosh, it's no way. Come on, White Western Star. Spit it out. Bad truck. Spit it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, oh, that, that's funny. <laughs> um, right, no. Um, don't drive over wheelie bins. They're dangerous. <laughs> right, so eventually, looking at my fuel, 40 litres left, we've made it to the... Drum Island uh, Tunnel so I'm just gonna leave my White Western Star here go and get the Fleet Star and then bring it to the White Western Star and then refill everything and then we're gonna jump to the next map to carry on with this stage 2 super order Right, stage two is fuel, consumables and concrete blocks. Most of that is on my Fleet Star, so let's leave my White Western Star here, enough space. And let's grab everything, the fuel. And now the concrete blocks, I have trouble lifting. And you see, what I do is it won't lift up, so I bring it towards me to get leverage. And there we are. Just another tip there as well. Always bring it closer because it's more stronger. Pack everything like that, and we should be good to go. Alright, as well, as you can see here, I'm going uphill and I'm doing a convoy. And even though it's on the Fleet Star, it's not pulling. I've tried doing the winch, as you can see there. In the end, again, I've shown you this before, disconnect the winch, get some memento, throw the winch on, and that will give you enough power to, to keep going, okay? So I just thought I'd let you know that. Right, I was running a bit low on fuel, so I made it here and stole some fuel uh, from... Not from the fuel station, from the tanker though, because I'm saving money. And then I'm just going to crack on and carry on going. But I wanted to show you something here. As I was getting good speed, because it's quite heavy what I've got, it's not going anywhere. I've tried the winch point and you saw it broke straight away. So just a tip, yeah, did it? You see, I'm in low plus. I, there's no way I'm getting up here. Until I found a little trick out. Look, you see. Unpack yeah now obviously you need to go back a bit to get the moment momento again and then for some reason it just went up quite naturally quite normal how cool is that unpack your cargo just like when i had done the logs you know unpack it was like it wasn't there so that's a very good tip you ever get stuck and what okay i was just gonna say nothing can stop me now but what stopped me what, what's going on? Do what? Right. Okay. You know what? I bet it's a... Yeah, look at that. It's a tree stump. Oh, it's so annoying. The developers know how to make this game. Right, I should clear that. No, I'm not... Oh, oh, uh? Oh, look at that. It... <laughs> <laughs> the tire went through the tree stump. Yeah, good old bugs in Snow Runner. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right, okay, let's crack on. <laughs> and there we are. We are just coming to the tunnel. What goes to Lake Island? Right, that's fantastic. So we're going to leave the White Western Star here, and now we're going to go and get, grab the Fleet Star. But obviously we don't need the concrete slabs for this that's for drummer island what is the map we're on at the moment so let's leave the trailer here but first let's unpack it first um because that'll be interesting if i don't unpack it i won't be able to lift it out so unpack it disconnect the trailer and now let's go and meet the white western star 
and the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to run out of fuel and I wanted to try a little bit of off-road you know this is not the best vehicle very tippy uh, especially with the fuel tanker on the top but I decided yeah let's go off-road and uh, see what happens and oh gosh um, yeah no, it's doing all right it's doing all right yeah oh whoa 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 okay I <laughs> cringe there but yeah <laughs> I made it <laughs> oh right so yeah anyway let's go to the white oh my gosh yeah that's um yeah this I might not keep this truck until I replace it with the paystar with the massive fuel tanker then yeah in the meantime I'm just using it as the fuel run truck the fleet star but I will get rid of it soon right as you can see here all I've done is moved my fleet star all the way back to here okay the reason I've just left it there is because really I don't need it in the way where the white western star is and going on the way back it can refill me again right so let's crack on with the second super order stage here we go Right, so let's just uh, check the map and see where we got to go. So check the order, log station, um, center middle. So we can just go up here, just all the way up here and across. Nice and easy, straight up the top, deliver that. Pick something else up as well. And then, I don't know, hang on, let's, let's just do something different. Because we've gone to that watch, watchtower before, but then we've turned around and gone. So I've never gone this way. Because it's all blacked out. Oh, there's a bridge there. So that would be two wooden planks. And we go through that black area where we've never been before. So that would be interesting. So yeah, so let's crack on and do that. Right, I tell you what, we're going to test out how good this White Western suspension is. For an old truck, watch this. It does... Oh, tree, tree, tree. Oops. It does pretty well without doing any damage better than some trucks anywho um if you enjoy watching my video please think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell for future videos if you're enjoying it please think about giving us a big thumbs up please leave us a comment and i'll get back to you and please share because it really helps your channel thank you take care and god bless right so let's just unload this cargo and finish the Sorry? Hang on. What? Oh, there we are. Wrong button. Right. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, forgot to pack it. Right. Pack and there. Yes. Second stage complete. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. I said to you, we're going to pick something up from here. And what is it? Boom. Metal beams. Because if you look at Drummer Island, concrete slabs, we've already got that on the Fleet Star. So let's grab these metal beams. Boom, there we are. Magic. Drop. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. <laughs> Brilliant. So there we are. We have got the stage four part done. We've got the metal beams. And then we just take this all the way back. Uh, we're going to go to the new way. We haven't been before. So we're going to adventure that way. But all the way back to Drum Island to pick up the concrete slab and then deliver that to the port. And then that'll be stage four complete. And then that would just be stage three to do. Oh, quick winch, quick winch. Oh, right. I didn't know if that was going to go good or bad. <laughs> but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Right, as you can see, we're just at the watchtower. So if I bring up the map, so you can see where I am. So I'm just going to go down where that new task is. But we accept it, but we're not going to really do it. And then further into the darkness where we've never been before. So <laughs> let's uh, check it out. As you see, I'm driving in the first person view and uh, this is how I drive my trucks um, and uh, yeah that's something I wanted to just let you know if someone skipped to the oh yeah exit that job if someone's just skipped to the end to find out what my good news is 
shame on you, shame on you, because as a surprise, I'm going to tell you now, because I'm too excited to actually hold, <laughs> I'm too excited to say, um, I passed my class one license um, just over a month ago, and um, wow, yeah, it was uh, quite intense, and yeah, I loved every second of it, so I can actually drive trucks like this, what I'm showing you, that's basically what my truck's going to be, um, delivering food to Lidl's. Um, what's a food shopping company and um, yeah I'm gonna love that driving 44 ton trucks absolutely amazing so I'm in a way doing this in real life I'm not I know I'm not lugging um, cargo all around America and Russia but not yet not yet but maybe soon <laughs> anyway back to the game <laughs> um, let's go to Drummer Island Right, so let's go and do stage four. So we need to go and collect them concrete slabs and then maybe get a bit of more fuel and then we need to make our way to the port. So we will go all this way, just the normal way as we always do. Uh, any shortcuts? No, not really. Uh, no, I, you know, yeah, you know what? I am going to be boring. I am going to be boring. Let's make things interesting. Let's go. Let's go this way, come on, it's, it's, it's the last episode of the season, let's just make it interesting as possible, yeah? So let's uh, have a bit of fun and see how much uh, trouble I get into. <laughs> right, so right, let's uh, crack on. I haven't done this before, let's see if I can use the crane to pick up them concrete slabs while in the... C oh, it doesn't work. Oh, camera view's gone a bit weird. But anyway... Blonk it on, pack it, and then let's crack on. Still in the cab view. Yeah, look, it just with the crane, you can't do it from in the cab, obviously. <laughs> right, here. Yeah. So there it oh gosh, there's the crane. So there it is. There's everything we need to go to the port now to finish stage four. Wicked. Let's crack on. I tell you what, I absolutely love being in the in the cab in the cockpit view the uh, mirrors are really spot on and it's really really brilliant i really do love this game and uh, if you haven't played um euro truck simulator 2 i would highly recommend it it's a bit more professional than this um and whatnot but um as you can see that i'm taking things very wide looking at the mirror this is what i need to practice sorry people for you watching this boring driving but I need to I need to get practice before I start my new job tomorrow. <laughs> oh, wish me well and pray for me. Uh, on my next episode, I will take a photo of me because you don't none of you have actually seen me. I'll take a picture of me next to it. Obviously, I have to hide the number plate and any logos and whatnot. But you'll see how tall and wide um, the Mercedes Acros I'll be driving. I just can't wait. I wish it was a Scania, Scania S. What I absolutely love. Um, also, I love the DAF XFs. Um, funny enough, that's why I want to get the um, the Phoenix, the Tartra Phoenix in this game because it's like a DAF, it's like the DAF XF. Anyway, sorry, I've waffled on about my job uh, and all, all new, all new excitements. Uh, again, focus on Snowrunner. Focus. Sorry. Right. Where were we? Hang on. Where have I gone? Oh, poo. I've gone the wrong way. Uh, right. Okay. Reversing skills, right here we go in the cab. Right, I need to turn this around so you've got counter steer. So this see, this is what I had to do on my test as well. It was mad because um, obviously it's, you've got a counter steer. So opposite. So if you want to make the trailer go left, you t turn right, and the opposite right with the left. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm um, not doing this really well actually. I can't see out of that mirror. That is just terrible. Um, oh, shoot, did I just go over someone's fence? I don't know, it moved. Um, gosh, this is difficult <laughs> in the game. This is, it is a bit like in real life, it's a bit crazy. Um, yeah, oops, sorry. It was broke before I got there. <laughs> right, anyway, um, 
yeah, let's just, let's just crack on. Okay, <laughs> I'll skip this part. <laughs> As you see, I didn't get far before I got stuck again. Look at this, that car on the way. I think I said to you before, if you go around the other way, it, it looks easier, but you topple over because it's a very deep, steep um, bank and you just topple. So it's the only way to do it and you really just run him over. It's, it's an abandoned car, it doesn't matter. Um, but again, just look what I do with the winches and try and just pull myself around it and try and just pop over it. Look. <laughs> and I got stuck again. This uh, shortcut was not a good because I've got a heavy load on the back. And as you can see, it's night time now. This took me ages to do. Every winch point possible. Doing my tricks of unpacking, packing, nothing. Look, as you see, it's red at the moment. I've unpacked it, but nothing worked. But I kept going, keep pushing, tried everything, and then look, don't give up. Don't give up, because you will eventually win. You will win in this game. And there we are. Now it's just round the corner, and to the docks. There we are, we are here. Stage four, people. Stage four. We are nearly finished. Super order. It's not as bad as you think. Super order. When I looked at, it, I was like, "No way! This is mad. How am I going to do this?" But you see, we we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so let's pack the cargo and then deliver it. And now I'm going to do a transition to see this. Now, <laughs> um. Do I need to say anything, really? Um, I was thinking, my video is not really... I need to make it a bit more entertaining. So I thought, I wonder if I can do a piggyback. Give my uh, Western Star uh, a break. It's been working hard. This, oh my gosh, this is just going wrong from the start. Um, oh my god. <laughs> um, um, bad idea. This is bad. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm still going for it. I'm still going for it. Still, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Reverse, reverse, please. No, this is going terribly wrong. I wonder if it will let me pack this. That would be awesome. But look, my trailer is like so far out. I just don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Fleet Star. Pack that truck. Come on, give it a break. Ah, uh, no. Nah, there isn't then. Damn, that's a shame. Right, okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can move slowly enough and it oh yeah oh it's holding it it's holding it yeah oh gosh that's only going oh my god no 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 it was only going one miles an hour right okay this is not going well right let's jump back into the truck uh, oh remove cargo yeah that would have been interesting remove the whole truck and trailer and it just disappear yeah yeah that would have been interesting right Let's, let's get that truck off. Let's jump in the white western style. Oh, this does not look good. Right. Uh, am I going to be able to get off without falling off? No. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Yes. yes. Oh. Can I do this? Oh. What? <laughs> I, am, I meant to do that. How many takes did I take that? Shh, shh, don't tell him. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that didn't work. So, um... Right, but I made it interesting anyway. I tried. I tried, people. I really did. Right. Okay, put up the ramp and then let's get moving. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, again, just to say to you, I'm taking all routes I've not done before. Or if I have, I've not done it in this truck. Now, I've, oh gosh, this is going wrong already. Now, I went right here because... It started getting a little bit too uh, mad, so I'm gonna go left now. <laughs> so, oh shoot, that was close. Um, gosh, uh, yeah, let's go right. <laughs> right, so um, yeah, that again, bit of off-road. Oh look, and I went left there. <laughs> bit of interest in there. Right, that's, uh, and as you can see, I've already got the White Western Star done there. And let's travel back to Smithfield Dam through Island Lake. Right, I'm just going to do a transition because I'm just going to get these two trucks all the way across Island Lake 
to the tunnel to Smithfield Dam. So let's do a transition now. Right, it's a bit hard to see what I'm actually trying to do here until I actually connect to the trailer. It's a service trailer. I'm just going to repair both my trucks because obviously we're going to be going to a new map. So I'm going to get all my trucks back to the garage. I'm not going to take all the trucks with me because obviously I'll run out of money before I even start. Um, but I just want everything repaired and fully fueled. So here we go to the tunnel to Smithfield Dam. Oh wow, we're doing that matrix again. Oh wow, the two trailers. Oh wow, look inside. Damn, in two trucks. Two trucks matrix inside. That is, wow. That's pretty crazy. I didn't even think of doing that before in the cab. And then look, the different size in the trailer. It's crazy. Five slot cargo is shorter. But obviously because you've got the A-frame connector. Uh, but yeah, really love the matrix theme. Brilliant. So we're going to pull that along. I can come on fleet star and oh we might even see the white wolf yeah look the eyes are just there if you can see the eyes you can't see him while you're in the cab there is the white wolf I think it's white wolf anyways something <laughs> anyway uh, I've already shown you that before but look you you can never see it in the cab don't matter how far back you are you can't see it in the cab it's only the outside view the chase view it's really weird same as the the yellow eyes in darkness as well you can't see that inside the cab I think I showed you that as well strange Look, as you see I'm far back you don't even see the eyes Look, you see you see the eyes there but nothing in the cab at all you would have saw him by then but no you don't see nothing anyway sorry let's take both trucks back to Smithfield garage here we are it's coming to an end people so on that note, if you have enjoyed watching my episode, please think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell for future videos so you don't miss anything. Please think about giving us a big massive thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And please share because it really helps the channel. Thank you so much. Take care and God bless. Right, just as an organised person as I am, and a trucker, I am just <laughs> putting everything back neat and tidy. Well, tidy-ish. I don't know why I've done this, but I just wanted to put everything back in my garage. Not in the bays, obviously, because I'm not a professional yet, because I haven't started my job tomorrow. <laughs> then I could be professional. So as you can see, I put all trucks back in. Look at this, apart from the Fleet Star. That's mad. So right, we got to do the last part of this super order. So right, what truck am I going to take? Could use the Fleet Star with a two slot um, trailer. I could do the White Western Star the same or a flatbed, but again, both would be way too easy. P16 with a trailer, again, way too easy. Um, I could use the, the Chevrolet, it's a Scout. Let's do a two side bot. And then I could use the White Western Star. That would be absolutely powerful. That, hmm. The only thing I could think of, the most difficult would be the Scout, I think. Because everything else is too powerful. So let's do the hardest. This is hard mode. So there we are. <laughs> there we are. Start up. Flash lights. Go for it. Yeah, so we're going to do the last mission in not even a truck. In a Scout. That's how interesting i want to make this be so right let's handbrake it oh oh you're kidding me i don't believe it <laughs> damaged already right great start great start what actually was that is that don't tell me that's just a rock you're kidding me a rock done damage that's mad snow runner no run right I remember that when I'm in my car and I go over a stone I got me I was going quite quick though wasn't I <laughs> all right Julie node will that connect will that connect come on sweet yes that's how you connect a trailer magic <laughs> right 
but it's a uh, wheel spin <laughs> and it is get to um, the service hub for the vehicle spare parts and in the fuel station for the is it me or is that drifting that trailer hang on we're seeing around this corner if I go really really quickly it drifts look, let's see if I can <laughs> Whoa, oh gosh nearly hit the sign well yeah a little bit too quick this was actually a really good idea using the scout as uh, the last thing because it's quite funny it's a bit um wow drift that trailer right and uh, yeah and the fuel sorry oh watch this when i put on the cargo watch how heavy it goes plonk oh yeah that's uh that's really heavy <laughs> this is going to be very very interesting Okay, I'm in high gear, and I'm not even going fast enough to drift anymore, so drifting's out of the question now. <laughs> oh gosh, right, okay, let's get to the fuel station. I'll tell you what, to make it interesting, I'm going to stay in this view, um, mainly the whole way and oh you are seeing a difference in that way look at that it is moving the trailer that is quite heavy now so I might not really go that fast now um, but yeah I want to stay in this view most of the rest of the video because I've not really done a lot of that I know occasionally but I've said to you I wanted to do a whole video within the cab because it would just be a different perspective right as you just switch to the trucks I've just put my um, fleet star to fill it up so it doesn't run out of fuel <laughs> um, that just would be the worst thing um, funny though uh, so we're going to Black River to finally finish off Super Order Um, sorry, what? Sorry, am I a ghost that I went through the roof, through my truck? Uh, not a pickup truck, rather. Um, do gay? That was a bit weird. I suppose this is a snow runner. Anything goes in snow runner. Oh, tell you what, we're coming up to. I wonder if the sign will fly off, even if I'm in a pickup truck. Because normally we're when I'm in a big truck. So let's just see. Will it fly? Yes, it flies. <laughs> oh gosh. I tell you what, is it me or is my left mirror too far down? Look at that. That is, isn't it? Anyway, we are in the main part of the town, as you can see there, and we are just going to go up here and then go to the old house, and then we're just going to follow. I don't think I've gone this way before. So, uh, do we go down? No, it's too easy. That's, yeah. Let's make things interesting. Let's go this way. I don't know if I've been this way before. So we just go that way and make it more interesting because I want to be entertaining for you. So, oh, that's a nice house on the right. I could live there and I could park all my trucks outside. <laughs> all right, here we go. Did you just skip to this part of the video? Well, shame on you, shame on you. And I tell you a little surprise. I already told everyone, if you've watched all my video up to now, well done, well done indeed. And thank you and God bless you. The people who have skipped, a little surprise here. You're gonna have to go back and watch my video and uh, hear the surprise. Um, Cause I'm really excited about it. I've had to put this in just as a little fun thing because uh, I'm so happy what I've uh, achieved and uh, yeah and something else I've achieved da da here we are finishing super order yes victory victory is ours do the fireworks do the horn do the lights yes we have done this hang on did that plank of wood just move look at that <laughs> let's just keep moving it Right, let's complete this order. Super order. Boom, done and promoted. Brilliant, lots and lots of monies. Fantastic, we have completed super order. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. Brilliant, flash your light, do the horn. Brilliant, fantastic. Well 
done little scout well done right let's have a look at the profile section oh here we are experience 18 and 15,000 nearly 16 doing really well I think we possibly are ready to move on to another map let's get this truck back to Smithfield Dam Garage I tell you what, let's go back into the cab and make this a bit more entertaining. Uh, whoa, and oh my gosh, am I going to get through this? Oh my gosh, that's... I should have just stayed in the cab actually. Let's just stay in the cab. The whole, oh my gosh, this is... Well, this is proper off-roading. This is uh, quite a cool route. If you want to take this route, take it and stay in the cab as well. Because it's... Wow, it's quite fun. This is uh, very bumpy. But yeah... Look at this, look, I'm just in high gear, yeah, this is no problem at all. I should I could have even gone this way. Pretty easy. Right, oh, slowing down a bit. Slowing down. And then, oh, oh, oh no, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Oh shoot. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm upside down, am I? Oh crap. Um yeah. Oh poo. Um <laughs> oops. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's alright. Come on, come on. Just don't break, don't break. Little, little, little. No. Aww. Right, oh, there's another winch. For oh, hang on. This could go well for me. Thank God for offline winch. Yes. Slowly. Start the engine up. Come on. Oh, get it in right gear. Come on, I can get out. I can get out. Slowly pull. Come on. Come on. Come on, pickup truck. Oh, oh that is wicked. <laughs> Damn, I tell you what, this is quite actually scary. Um, I, I, I swear, it's probably because you can't really see properly. Your view or vision is restricted because obviously you're inside the car uh, rather than outside. So you can see, you're aware of everything. Um, and yeah, this I'm having to like to, you know, take it careful. And it's like I'm going into the unknown. Uh, sorry. Sorry, clench moment. Um, I forgot I got offline winch, but you, you do forget. <laughs> you do forget about the offline winch. But this is crazy. This is proper off-roading. This is um, yeah, highly recommend this. Seriously, right? So I'm there. Um, the rest of the route's not that really bad. So let's obviously just transition right to Smithfield Dam. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm a ghost. I go through the roof of the car. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, there we are. So, just the two trucks left to put into my uh, garage. i tell you what, I've got an idea. Why don't I try and tow the Fleet Star? Um, that's probably why I shouldn't tow the Fleet Star, because it's not working. Um, yeah, this is still moving. Oh gosh, it's slowing down now because I'm going uphill. Um, this could take a while, people. So, I'm gonna do a transition. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a long while. Moments later, as you can tell by the the darkness of the day, I'm still going. And, um, I am not moving at all. I've tried look, putting it in low now. Okay, let's do it. High gear. Come on. Power. 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 Um, no, it's not moving at all. Right, let's just cheat. Right, okay. Nearly done it, but <laughs> yeah, it wasn't happening, was it? At all. <laughs> right, let's just fuel everything up and uh, I will put the pickup truck. Well done. Well done, my little friend. You've done well. Put you back. In oh, sorry. Sorry. W what? What happened there? Right, let's drive around and try that again. Take two. Right. Let's jump into it. Put him in the garage. X. Right, okay. By default, it's on leave garage. So I must have accidentally hit the A button. Fast. Right, okay. Not to worry. Right. Fleet start is the last one to do. But, look. I was looking at this because I've still got quite a lot of fuel. Let's go to this fuel 
well, scout fuel carrier, because only thing I've got there, and just unload all the fuel I have in it, and then go back to the garage, refill that truck, and then I've refilled everything I can, because it's nearly 200 litres, so 77, so the time I get back, what, about 50 litres? So let's head back, and then plonk that, so, yeah. oh, no, wrong way, no, no, there we are. <laughs> 51 litres left, happy to leave that, so that's fine. So we'll put this back in the garage, and then we are done. Right, so yeah, look, so just seeing the Fleet Star, the pickup truck, the White Western Star, gosh, P16, yeah, and a Western Star 6900. Good, good team, that is. I've really been proud of my um, all sort of uh, trucks, and we've used them very well. Right, so it's the moment you've been waiting for. What map are we going to go to? Will it be Alaska, so I can get the Caterpillar 745C Beast? Or will it be Tamar for the Mighty Taiga? Or maybe the Cola, because I'm just insane. Or Yukon, so I can get the biggest Caterpillar. Or Wisconsin, so I can get the Paystar 5600. Or a more for the Zik, and you set off a rocket. <laughs> so what's it going to be? Random, da -da 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 -da. or would it be random, or have I already chosen? It is... The winner is... You're going to have to wait for season two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but we've run out of time. It's one of those ones. Sorry. Cliffhanger. It had to be. Come on. You knew it. You knew I had to do that. So stay tuned. I already know where I want to go. I already do. So thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure um, doing season one. So hope you join me into season two. Take care and God bless.